Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm here to introduce you to AFI-GTR1000 Embedded GPS Network Time Protocol Server and inform you how to set up and configure AFI-GTR1000. AFI-GTR1000 Embedded GPS Network Time Protocol Server transmits the GPS time information to network-based application server like as a CCTV BMS server which requires accurate time information using NTP server. Legacy GPS time receiver products only supports RS-232 interface, but Edfog APGTR-1000 supports fast Ethernet port as well as dual RS-232 interface. Dual RS-232 interface provide world compatibility. In front of AFI-GTR-1000, there are LAN port and console port. Also, it provides LCD display for GPS time information and LED button. At the rear of AFI-GTR-1000, there is one module slot for AFI-GPSR2 module. AFI-GPSR2 module provides dual DV9RS-232 interface port and GPS antenna interface port. In this time, I will show you how to set up and configure AFI-GTR-1000. First, connect antenna to antenna connector on the AFI-GPSR2 module and connect the power cable to AC power. And connect LAN cable to LAN port on the front side of AFI-GTR-1000. After booting the device, date and time that are received from GSP are displayed on LCD display. If you place blue LED button on the right side of LCD, GPS time, GPS synchronization status, IP addresses are displayed sequentially. Let's assess web with this default IP address. Login with the inputting name and password for assessing smart web. In this smart web, let's change IP address. After you click when set a menu in menu box on top left, you change IP address that you want. After registering IP address, configure as a standard time zone. For this, click System Time menu on the top left box of web. And then right as whole and 9 and click the Apply button. AFI-GTR1000 has built-in network time protocol server function. Let's synchronize the time by setting the AFI-GTR1000 as an NTP server on the PC. Click the date and time changing button. After inputting IP address, if clicking update button, AFI-GTR1000 and time are synchronized. Click changing configuration button. GPS signal reception status can be checked in the front LCD. GPS signal reception status can be checked in the front LCD. When the antenna is not connected, or the GSP signal is not received, no sync message is displayed on the LCD display, and the blue LED blinks continuously. 
When the antenna is connected and the GPS signal is synchronized, the hard sync message is displayed on the LCD display and the blue LED remains on. After GPS signal is synchronized, if the antenna is disconnected or GPS signal is not received due to some environment inferences, hard sync message is changed to soft sync after a minute, and the blue LED blinks continuously.